Okay, so moving rather quickly, types of composition. It is now a good time to examine various types of composition. Um, uh, we talked about aggregation and association, so I'm going to fast forward that. Remember, we talked about the life cycles of objects, parts created together or separately. That's the difference between the, the uh, composition and aggregation. And uh, aggregation and composition suggest parts. Association is typically just that a fact that one class knows about the existence of, the, of another class. So uh, it's not as strong, but association perhaps is the most used one. So we, we talked about these aspects already. So uh, a good, not a bad example of an aggregation, again, with a car, uh, where uh, everything is written as aggregation. Uh, it took me a long time to remember which one is which in terms of aggregation and composition. And eventually I remembered that if, they, if those rhombuses aren't filled, like hollow, like this, uh, then this is an, an aggregation. And the composition is a stronger form of aggregation with filled uh, uh, rhombuses. So just to, you know, if you ever have to take a test or, or answer uh, a, uh, uh, a question at, at a job interview, it's, it's something that you need to be alert uh, to. So let me close some of this. Uh, and uh, so examination of aggregation versus association. Aggre aggregation is a complex object constructed from other objects. Association is a combination of independent objects. That's an interesting and very, very useful view of things at design time. So just, uh, you know, if you think about those aspects, um, it just makes you think uh, uh, more broadly uh, and, and, and have different angles uh, to use to examine your problem, to really go to the roots of what is really happening and choose the right combinations of, you know, choose the right classes first and then combine them uh, using proper uh, relationship. So, um, uh, as promised, uh, let's, uh, and we talked about the cardinality before, but I think we can revisit cardinality uh, next week as well. So, as promised, perhaps in the remaining few, um, few minutes, what I can do is to demonstrate uh, multiple inheritance uh, using C++. Let's just, uh, and we really haven't... Uh, uh, looked at uh, a lot of C++ code this semester. Typically, I try to 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 pull it in. So let's see if we have a, even a compiler of some sort installed on the system. If it's available, yeah, uh, we we'll just just create a project here. So I'll um, I'll start. Uh, I'll use Microsoft Visual Studio uh, here because I use it in other classes. So. Um, we can uh, write some code today and um, uh, with this and I'm thinking of what would be a good example of uh, um, of, uh, of multiple inheritance uh, let's see uh, what would be a good example of multiple inheritance actually save the signal before it starts. 